Here is Greta. We're going to play the clip. There is no planet B. There is no planet blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. There's no plan B. So the context here, of course, is uh, Greta has been warning us for years now that the world is going to hell, that civilization will end, I think now it's 10 years, two years ago, it was 12 years because of climate change. And that we, I take this personally, the baby boomers, uh, the Generation X, the millennials have done nothing, nothing to prevent climate change. And uh, all we do, all we do, and, and there is no plan B for civilization. There is no plan B for humanity. If the temperatures go to whatever they're expected to go uh, within the next 10 years, then the seas will rise and the, the sun will shine. And I don't know, somehow we will all die and her generation will have a rotten time of it. Not only will they suffer uh, dramatically physical and emotional um, uh, 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 trauma, they will be, you know, and it, it, there is no plan B. There's no other planet. There's nowhere else to go. So uh, that's the context in which, and blah, 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 of course, represents what? It represents, it represents, um, all you do is talk. Action is what we need. Action. Who else said action is what we need? All right, let's it, it go back so you get the full kind of flavor. There is no planet B. Look, look, at, look at their eyes. Scary. Truly scary. There is no planet blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. They love the blah, blah, blah. This is not about some... Ex look at the... Uh, you, uh, I stopped in the wrong place, but watch your eyes as she talks. Expensive, politically correct, green act of bunny hugging, or blah, blah, blah. I love it. She, she's criticizing... The politically correct is criticizing the politicians. She's criticizing all the corporate leaders that pretend to care about climate change. She's the only one who cares. Build back better, blah, blah, blah. Green economy, blah, blah, blah. Build back better is, uh, is Biden. She hates Biden, right? He's part of the problem. Uh, you know, green economy, it's, it's, it's what all the, the conventional people think. No, we need action. What action? It doesn't matter. But we need action now. Net zero by 2050. Blah, blah, blah. That's right. We want net zero tomorrow. None of this talking. Blah, blah. Net zero. Blah, blah, blah. Climate neutral. Blah, blah, blah. Our hopes and dreams drown in their empty words and promises. Of course, we need constructive dialogue. But they've now had 30 years of blah, blah, blah. And where has that led us? Over 50% of all our CO2 emissions have occurred since 1990 and a third since 2005. If this is what they consider to be climate action, then we don't want it. They invite cherry-picked young people to meetings like this to pretend that they are listening to us. But they are not. They are clearly not listening to us. And they never have. Just look at the numbers. Look at the statistics. The emissions are still rising. The science doesn't lie. Yeah, the, the, there's a section later on. Um, unfortunately, this clip doesn't have it. Uh, there's a section where, later on where they get, where they, she gets the, the entire audience going, what do we want? Just the climate justice. What, you know, she really, really, really knows how to play her audience. She really, really, really is at the age of 18. A, a spectacular demagogue who really, really, really gets these audiences riled up and excited and motivated and frantic. There were, there were demonstrations inspired by Greta at the, at the Science Climate Conference somewhere in Italy. Um, and, uh, you know, she is incredibly powerful deliverer of the message. And the message is... Forget about ideas, forget about programs, forget about discussion and debate, forget about thinking and convincing and controlling, forget about the economy, forget about jobs, forget about the green economy, build back better, forget about all these things. What we need now is action. 
Now, what does that remind you of? Who is all about action? Who only cares about action? Stop talking. Stop being so intellectual and philosophizing. Well, this is what fascists are all about. This is fascism. We need to solve the problem. How do you solve a problem? Let's just act. We just need to do something. We need to go out there and do something. What does doing entail? Well, turns out it almost always entails killing a bunch of people. Blah, blah, blah. So let's not blah, blah, blah. Let's not have a conversation. Let's not educate. Let's not teach. Let's not convince. Let's just act. And how? By destroying the world in which we live. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.